Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin. It's Saturday, which means it's time for my weekly roundup. Yeah! So, my weekly roundups is basically the day I like to go through my weekend crafting and generally the book I'm reading, but I forgot the book. I actually read 10 chapters this week, so I met my read at least a chapter before bed goal and a couple of nights I read a few extra. Um, but yeah, I forgot it. So that's okay because we have a couple of other things we need to do in this video and I don't want to talk too long. My allergies are doing okay right now, but sometimes the longer I talk, it starts working things up. So let's hop right in. First, we have our stitch marker of the day from Miss Ellie Leva. This is from Ellie Leva at Ellie Leva's Crafts and More. And this is her fall stitch marker set. Let's see what day 11 has in store. Woo! It's another butternut squash! <laughs> I do not recognize spaghetti squash. And plus, they're more oval. This is definitely butternut squash shapen. I love it. It's perfect. And it's got the round clasp, which makes it awesome for both knit and crochet. So you can use like the lobster claw ones for knitting, um, but the circle ones work on more, is more universal for knitting, if you know what I mean. Okay, so here are all 11 of the stitch markers in their jumbled glory. And then I also have this box. I've had this box for a while and I have not opened it. What is in this box is my 13 day countdown to Halloween. I got this from Tristan over at Dragon Horde Yarn. Um, sorry, I just want to make sure I'm not slicing through anything important here. And this is a 13 day countdown to Halloween advent that is based on Wicked. I thought that was so cool. She had a couple of different themes she was doing and I picked the Wicked one. Um, yeah, so I haven't opened it so I don't know what things look like here or what's going on. I assume she means the musical and not the book. Um, I read the book when it first came out. I've not seen the musical but I've of course listened to the soundtrack ad nauseum. <laughs> um, so here's what it looks like. It's got green confetti and, and right on top there are two stitch markers and it says thank you. One is a pumpkin with like kitty ears and the other one is a coffee cup. I suppose you could say it's cocoa or hot cider, Heather, um, with a pumpkin on it. Oh, that's good. And they're um, polymer clay, I believe. Those are so cute. I want to take them out of the plastic. Get my fingers out of the way. There you go. Focus. There you go. Super cute. And it says thank you on the back. That's adorable. And then let's see. There's a bag in here. Oop. Oop. Shake off the confetti. <laughs> okay. So here's the bag, and then there are things inside the bag. So let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness, there's tons of stuff. Okay. Oh, these are all numbered. So I hope I got the first right, the the first day correct. So today, oh, that's the 30th, 29, 24, 23, 28, 27. Uh-oh. I'm looking for the 19th, right? 22nd, 26, 29, 21. Okay. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I've dropped one. Okay. 20, 
Here's 19. 19. And then, oh, there is a big full skein. The 31st is a full skein, and then there's some extras. But we do have a 19th, and then I guess I'll show one extra day until we run out of extras. How's that sound? So October 19th, um, these are minis, and then like I said, there's a full skein in there. And let's see. It is a beautiful green. This is on her Myth Sock base. Unusual and exceedingly peculiar. And it's tonal green with some blacks. Um, so there is a brownish quality, but I'm willing to say it's where the greens and black is kind of meeting. That is very wicked. Very wicked. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we got this as day 19. And now I normally try to like string them up, but I am, as you can tell, unprepared. And one of the things in here, oh, this is cute, is a big old palm. I'm 100% willing to bet this is a faux fur palm because I have seen the price on real palms and there ain't no way <laughs> it's real it also doesn't feel real it feels very faux yeah I can feel the seam right there so there we go very cool it's a white palm with just a little touch of black on the tips I'm not sure the black oh maybe right there not sure the black comes through on the camera so there we go that's okay I'm gonna leave the 20th out and then I'll try to be more prepared tomorrow in picking <laughs> and having the things ready. Oh, how fun! Oh, exciting! Okay, so there we go. Countdown to Halloween has begun, and I do have green stuff all over me. Um, and then what? So, to get down to the business, the business of the video, I'm yeah, just checking to make sure I was recording. <laughs> Okay, so I have a couple of finished objects to share with you here today. Um, first, I did finish that fillet blanket, and I did incorporate some of the straw. So I did two rounds of double crochet and then a final round back in the midnight blue. And here we go. I think this turned out really pretty. I think I'm showing you the correct side. No, I think I'm showing you the wrong side. Of course I'm showing you the rocks. No? Oh, who knows? You flip it back and forth, so probably doesn't really have a right side, wrong side. But here you go. Very pretty. I like the way this turned out. Um, this was a pattern by Daisy Farm. No, Daisy Cottage. Daisy Cottage Crochet. And there we go. The um, the tutorial I followed did not have a border on it. I added the border myself. Um, I just thought it needed something to just touch it off. Oh, there's another. Okay, so that made me remember. I did finish the item that will be the a giveaway item for the Creator Spotlight this month. Um, so if you're interested, each month we do an event here called the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. We pick a creator, celebrate them, make an item. I like to make an item and have that be one of the giveaway items. I still need to pack up September's winnings. Um, all the ladies, I got your emails. We're good to go. It's just me being Aaron. <laughs> um, but so I went looking and this month it's um, Daisy Cottage now. That blanket was Daisy Cottage Crochet. This is Daisy Farm Crafts. Why did I do this to myself? I don't know. She had a stitch tutorial for the crumpled, uh, crumpled griddle stitch. And I made kind of a small infinity scarf large cowl using Big Twist Prism yarn. And I love the effect it has. I think this is going to be really nice. I hope whoever wins it likes it. 
Um, so yeah, I will, that's all done. I'll change it out when I send that scarf to Miss Debbie. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Debbie. <laughs> I'll check my emails, don't worry. Okay, and now, funny story. So, I was cleaning up in my craft room after finishing Chomps' neon blanket. And I found something. <laughs> it was the dog and Brian coming up the steps. Um, and I found something. And then I went to check and respond to comments. And Diamond had <laughs> commented on the video, Hey Erin, are you ever going to work on Amigurumi? She didn't quite say it like that. She said, oh, are you going to work on another Amigurumi? I had found hidden under the yarn for the neon blanket the project bag for my year of amigurumi. I was making all the amigurumis from this crochet cute critters book. What? <laughs> I think, now I don't quite know how it got stuck under the neon yarn, but it was stuck under the neon yarn. I do know I kind of set this aside because that is amigurumi, but it just got totally forgotten. I don't know how I forgot it, but the timing of her comment was just so amazing. I had to message her back like, do you have ESP? What is going on here, woman? So anyway, I had barely started Henrietta the Hippo for Miss Bingo. So I looked in the bag and I had the head started. <laughs> but I now have the whole thing finished. I was a little worried I was going to run out of the main yarn, so I made the feet and I guess if it's a hippo, it walks like this, right? So it's all feet. But anyway, I made the bottoms of the legs and arms <laughs> both white. And I think now this is all the yarn. I have left and I do not think it would have been enough to do those bits. So I think I'm very very happy with this decision. Um, but there it is. She picked, I added the white of my own accord. She wanted me to use the loops and threads, carousel twist in the colorway tide pool. I think it's tide pool. Yes. Tide pool. So there it is. Now this book is by Sarah Zimmerman. I got it super cheap, like under seven bucks from Amazon. Um, Sarah Zimmerman is repeat crafter me on YouTube. And, um, she generally calls for a four weight yarn when you make these. Um, she uses, I believe, Premier Basics throughout. She says it in the beginning. Oh no, she used, uh, Bernat Super Value throughout the entire book. Um, I use just whatever yarn I have that the kiddos kind of pick. Um, the kiddos pick the pattern, they tell me what direction they want the yarn, and then I go out and create it. They also get to pick the eyes when it's eye time, and Bingo picked blue. Um, so up next is going to be Iggy the Iguana. That will be for Chomps, but he has not, <coughs> I haven't called him in to ask him about colors yet. Sorry, allergy interlude. Okay, so let's move on to, that's all of the finished objects I have. Let's move on to the whips. I did start another baby blanket. This is, I think it's just called Easy Baby Blanket, but it's a shell stitch baby blanket. And what I really liked about it was the border. I'm following a tutorial from Joe to the World Crochet. And here it is, I'm, I've started it. And this I'm using one of the straw pound of loves. You're supposed to do this until it's, I don't recall if she said 34 or 35 inches tall, but I feel like I've used about a third of it, of the pound of love. And this is the same pound of love skein I used for the border of the prior blanket. So it's not, was not a full skein to start. Um, but I am about a third, I'm about 10, 11, Actually, no, I've worked on it since I measured it, so I'm probably... Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm about 11 inches tall on the blanket right now. So a third of the yarn, a third of the height, but then I do have to make the border. So we'll see what that entails. Um, what else? Oh, I did finish the blue mini on my pickle jar mini cowl, but, and bingo picked the next one, but I barely started it. So not much there. So this is the Aberdeen Wool's pickle jar, original pickle jar cowl kit thingy. About 50 bucks for these at AberdeenWools.com. Shipping is very reasonable outside of, it's based in Canada, shipping to the U.S. is very reasonable. And yeah, I am enjoying it. I am nearly done. I've got like five minis left and we'll be done. It's amazing. Uh, what else do I have project wise? I have my sock that I've been working on. So Bingo really liked my picnic basket socks and she liked the yarn. So I am just whipping up using the remaining yarn, a basic vanilla sock for her. And just last night I finished the gusset. So I'm on the straightaway of the foot. We'll see. Um, my guess is it's going to be about two weeks before that project is done. And now I've been kind of hitting, hinting at a video I need to make about ye old yarn collection. Um, but even though I haven't done the video, I've started what I want to do with that video. So I've gone through a bit of the collection and basically I'm going through like each, I've got cubes and like bins. So I'm going through each area and <clears throat> either saying, picking one yarn and saying, I'm going to make a project with this or I'm not going to use this and going to get rid of it. Um, so I went to one area and I picked the yarn out. I had purchased it for Chomps. I showed it to Chomps. It's, um, it was a dark green cotton. He did not want it. Um, so I said, okay, so we're going to, that you'll see that in a giveaway. Um, but then I went to my next area and I did look first. It was not enough. I love the color, but it was not enough to make what I wanted for myself. Um, and that's okay. But in my next area, I found two of these 50 gram balls of shape, shape cheese, the unpronounceable yarn, soft fun. I believe I got this in a mystery box from Nicole at Fibromyalgia Yarn Resin. Um, the color is moss. This is a cotton acrylic blend, but I had two of them and I was like, oh, I'd love to try to use it. I've never used this before. So I went to Ravelry and I found a free pattern for something called the simple thing. And it's basically a very thin kind of long scarf thingy. It's not quite not quite big enough to be a scarf, not quite big enough to be a shawl. So she just calls it the simple thing. And it's by Melina Brell, B-R-E-L-L, -L, at Heathland Knits. <clears throat> and let me show you that. And there's a picture of her wearing it and a picture there. And there's a picture down there of it kind of laying down. Now this one, I was talking about the, my Things We're Making Thursday project, and it says, oh, it's an intermediate beginner. Um, <clears throat> and I was like, eh, I think this is more beginner. This one, the beginning, messed me up. Um, and once you get going, it's pretty, pretty straightforward, but it does have um, I-cord edging. And the beginning was pretty tough. So I would call that one more of an intermediate beginner pattern. Because, like, once you get past the first couple setup rows, I think you're pretty golden. But getting through that, and then at the end, I believe you have to Kitchener, um, which is more of a slightly advanced. 
uh, technique. Definitely not for, for absolute beginners. Um, but yeah, I think that'll be fun. It should be a pretty quick knit. And I'll be excited. I am enjoying the yarn. It's, it's a nice soft feel. And I think it's going to have a lovely drape when it's done. So yeah, that is all the projects I'm going to share with you today. I do have a couple more, but I wanted to keep this a little shorter. Like I said, talking sometimes gets the, the allergy juices flowing for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're working on. What has you excited? Did you get a Halloween countdown yarn thingy? Or are you looking forward to Halloween? I know not everyone celebrates Halloween. Um, <clears throat> it is my favorite holiday. Um, I just love seeing the kiddos dressed up. And they get so excited. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, let me know. What are you doing? I lost my train of thought there for a while. And I'm just in the middle of a goodbye. So let's just end it here. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Channeling Lisa again. <laughs>